So here's something I've been thinking about. I've been thinking about, can we harvest the sun as if it was a crop? And here's some ideas I've been thinking on that topic. Traditionally with solar energy, we have active solar and passive solar. Active solar is typically with the um, hot water when there's a pump. And passive solar is when architects design the building so that it has south-facing windows and things like that. And both active solar and passive solar, they're, they're capital intensive, meaning that it's not the kind of thing that you could get into kind of casually. But maybe there's a third kind of solar in between active solar and passive solar, or maybe just a third option. I'm calling it participating solar. And here's the, here's the concept. Low-cost, high physical activity, solar heat harvesting. I'm thinking about something like a briefcase-sized solar panel um, that you put out in your yard or your driveway to capture some heat for using and helping to heat your home. To helping to heat the home. It actually doesn't heat the home, but helps reduce your heating bill. So these kind of briefcases would be insulated with glass covers to prevent heat, slot, heat loss from the wind. So there'd be like some kind of glass cover with air in between the glass. Um, it would need to weigh less than 15 pounds because it would be nice if these things could be carried by kids um, as well as adults. Um, on the solar briefcases, uh, how about fold-out mirrors on either side of the briefcase that helps to concentrate the so uh, sunlight and the heat? Made from materials that can withstand harsh sunlight year after year. So if it's going to be made from some kind of plastic, um, it needs to be um, a plastic that can withstand, withstand ultraviolet radiation. And maybe plastic isn't the right material, but maybe it is. Um, has hook attachments so that it can be affixed to the ground to prevent it being carried aloft by a strong wind. So sometimes, you know, you want to be collecting solar heat and it might be a windy day and we certainly don't want this thing to blow across the street, hit a car, or hit a bicycle or whatever. When closed, the solar briefcase releases heat slowly in a house over two or three days. So the idea is that you have like 10 or 20 solar briefcases that you bring into a house after they've been out for five or 10 hours um, on a sunny winter day or fall or spring, and that over two or three days the heat is released, and then you take the solar briefcases back out. But it typically would not be the kind of thing that you take out and bring in every day because that really is a lot of labor, right? We want something that is labor intensive but not overly labor intensive. Um, so several hundred solar briefcases could be set up in a sunny parking lot of a government building on the weekends when the workers are not there. So you have a huge parking lot um, at some government buildings and the sunlight is drenching the parking lot. So if we set out a couple hundred solar briefcases, uh, then typically uh, 15 or 20 briefcases might be brought over to somebody's home and set up um, to provide some extra heat in the house. Uh, or you could put the parking lot of a public library that's closed on a Sunday. So that's also a government building, but uh, there, are, there are places in our community that are drenched in sunlight that are unused or un, currently unused that could be used for kind of low cost um, high participation solar projects. The solar briefcases would not be able to heat an entire house. It's not like that you can't you can't collect that much heat, but they could be used to help reduce heating bills, especially for low income residents or somebody who's unemployed. If you had a friend that was unemployed, you might want to help carry, transport some briefcases to his or her apartment or house. And that would just be a nice way of saying, hey, you're in a tough situation and paying your bills is going to be hard this month. And let's see what kind of heating we can get in there so that at least you're not um, 
At least you're not chilly and unemployed, right? And this is the kind of thing high school students and other community members could deliver to uh, a family or individual. This solar energy would be labor intensive, but relatively low cost. So it's kind of neat, not, not hugely capital intensive. The, the materials for these solar briefcases might even be bricks. Uh, bricks painted black and then inside of a sort of an insulated briefcase with a, a glass and a two layer glass with air in between to prevent heat loss from the wind. And that's it. Thank you, Open Office.